everyone and welcome back to Joy's channel. It is still Mrs. Claus here with you and Joy will be in just a little bit in to do the video. But we're on the 22nd and this one's Black Current Beauty. Delicious deep purple organic fruits to help you glow inside and out. Okay, 22nd. Oh, it's my husband. Aw, ain't that sweet. I could wear my husband on my charm bracelet if Joy lets me have it. But I think we're going to let Joy keep it so she can remember me and how I came to help her do the videoing. I think she'll like that. I think she'll too. 22nd on the cars. Okay, what kind of car are we going to get? Something really cool or something red? Red? Okay. What kind of car we're going to get is red. How did you know? Lucky guess. You were peeking, weren't you, through the doors? No, actually, I was a lucky guess. Okay. I do think that's kind of a cool car. I think it's a wicked car. A what? Wicked cool car. A oh, wicked cool. See, I'm not up on the terminology gumdrop. I don't make it down there as often as you apparently do. How many times of the year do you come down from the North Pole without telling me? I sneak away. <sighs> gumdrop. I might get a tighter rope now. Gumdrop might be on uh, lockdown for a while. Ooh, we got more... Uh, beauty helping utensils, you to tools, tools. That's the word I was looking for. Cool. Are they cool? Not really. I prefer to have brushes that are different than these. Oh my gosh! Holy guacamole <laughs> dip ball again. Holy guacamole dip. We've got the eyeshadow brush. If you like the spongy kind. What do you like using, Mrs. Claus? I don't do a lot of makeup. My, I've already snagged a husband. I don't need makeup. Ah, okay. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. I do wear my makeup occasionally, and I use brushes, but I like to get the big kind that you can get at, like, Dollar uh, General. Ah, okay. Yeah, or Walgreens or someplace like that. That's probably the lip gloss uh, lip mm -hmm. brush. I don't like those at all. I like lipstick or lip gloss that has yeah. like the brush the on or it. squeezes out of the bottle. I don't like the squeeze out of the bottle too often. I'm more of like what the mascara tube looked like. Yeah. That's why I thought it was a lip gloss because it's like that looks just like my lip glosses. Yeah. Oh my God. And I love really like burgundy colored lips. Well, it's a good thing it was mascara. Joyce gets to enjoy it then. Joyce doesn't wear mascara either. Oh. Something they have in common again. Joyce and I have a lot in common. Yeah. I think that's why she lets me come and video on her channel. Probably. You guys make the decision. Let us know down below. Is that why Joy lets me come on her channel? Is because I have so much in common with her? Or do you think she thinks I'm fun? You're fun. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. Enjoy this video coming up. And I uh, hope you have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, so it's Joy. I'm back with my craft corner. I'm going to be showing you how to make some napkin rings that can be used all year with just a couple of items. So the first thing you need to do is get a package of the shower curtain rings from the dollar store. There's 12 in the pack for a dollar, so that makes 12 of them. So depending on how many you need for that, you want to plan accordingly. They have the magnets for 12 pieces for a dollar. You'd want at least two of these because you're going to need one for the napkin ring and one for the item you're going to use. Um, and then some ribbon, or if you really want to spend some time on it, you can get some like twine. And some little mat ornaments, like these little reindeer that I got from Hobby Lobby last year. These snowflakes I got from Dollar Tree last year. Or these little gems I've gotten from the dollar store. And I'm going to show you how you can use it for every season, basically, using these few things. Oh, and you're going to need a little bit of hot glue, too. So... I'm going to take some off here, and I think that should be enough. So let's see, is that about a yard of ribbon is what I'm going to work with. And we're just going to put a little dab of glue on one side of the shower curtain hook, and then we're going to touch the ribbon onto it, and then we're going to just start wrapping. And if you want, you could do the uh, glue along if you're having a problem wrapping it, but I'm only going to do it, I think, at the beginning, maybe in the middle, and at the end. 
So you're just gonna, once you get going, it goes a lot quicker, but the first few wraps are the hardest. Because finding your rhythm is usually the hardest part about wrapping ribbon. Right, make sure you're staying tight with the ribbon. Not letting it bunch too much. So just going through, wrap, and maybe I'll do a dab of glue just to make it make it a little bit easier. Okay. Not a lot of glue, just enough to hold the ribbon in place is all you want to do. I'm just going to keep wrapping until you get all the way wrapped, including that open area. And you could even wrap it with the color of the holiday that you're on if you want and then just glue the item right on. But this way you can remake it, you know, each, you don't have to remake them every time. You can just use the one you have and then add an ornament that fits that holiday or that party you're doing, whatever it is. Um, or just to have a little bit more fun for yourself. Sometimes all you got, one of the self-cares I do is sometimes I set the table real fancy just for just myself and get dressed up and I have a dinner. Um, eat by myself and set it up as if I'm in a fa fancy place or something and um, use my good china and everything just for a night with myself just to remind myself that I'm worth it. So sometimes that's the smallest self-care you can do for yourself and it's an easy self-care you can do for yourself. Uh, I make a crock pot meal on the days I'm going to do it, so it's a lot easier because then everything's pretty easy. And then I do like a microwave baked potato and some microwave vegetable. And so you can make a real simple meal seem real fancy. And I use would use these for different holidays, different um, like birthday parties, because I used to do like a monthly dinner with my family. I would have used these had I had this back then. i seen this on somebody else's channel, but I decided to take it one step farther than they did, because they had made it with um, just gluing the item on. And I decided I wanted to make it so that I could change it up for each month or whenever I want to change it. So... And that dog you're hearing is my neighbor's dog across the street. He's excited. He has a ball. He loves to tell everybody about. I don't know why that dog thinks that everybody doesn't know he's got a ball. But he seems to think that we all need to know that he has a ball. And that we should all just stare at his ball like he does. You go over to say hi to him and he's like, I got a ball. Look, look, I got a ball. Want to play ball? I got a ball! And he likes to kick it like a soccer ball. He is such a funny dog. Good dog. What I'm going to do is glue down the end over here where I started off. I'm going to kind of re just put another dab of glue. Bring the end over and position it down. And then that part's done. Now, the good thing about what we're going to do is it kind of hides that bumpy spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a magnet and I'm going to take and put some glue on the back of it. I'm just going to uh, shower hook. I'm just going to leave it sit there. So there's that done. Now I'm going to take a magnet and put on the back of each of my ornaments that I want to show you. And you can do this with whatever color ribbon you want. Something that goes with the theme of your house, maybe, or um, like a color that's something that you feel is neutral to your holiday season or whatever. Uh, the only problem is you got to make sure your magnets are not polar opposites. And I polar opposite those two. Dang it. So... You'd want to put your magnet up against, and whichever side, then 
glue the opposite side. So you might want to put it on there, then put a little dab of glue and put your ornament on that. Um, so there we have reindeer shower hook napkin ring. So then we have a snowflake one. With the snowflake one, though, I gotta be very careful because it had. I would actually go on the snowflake itself to put the uh, glue if you're doing the snowflake like I am, because the glue will be in the wrong position if you put it in the center of the magnet. You want to hold it for a moment, but be careful not to touch the glue. You'd think after burning myself earlier this year, I'd know that. That was a massive burn. Let's see if we can peel this off and use this one. Okay, good. Now we're just going to put this one on here, and I'm just going to put a little dab of glue. And then I'm going to put my heart on there. And there's that. And then we'll put this one on. We'll put a dab of glue. And I'll do the butterfly on this one. And then you could even have different colored, like if you use these gems, you could have all the different colors and then mix and match it how you want. There's that one. And there it is on there. So it just makes it real easy to change up your napkin ring. Just kind of hold around the napkin, the magnet when you do it. And then look, they decide to stick to one another. You can stack them in a box all neatly put together. So you can keep these all together, or you could use them as ref like refrigerator magnets or something when you're done. So there's the flower. So you could just do that with any little decoration you find that fits the theme of your thing and that fits the magnet. But I'm going to put my reindeer because it's Christmas time. So there we go. And you could do it with like a black ribbon, or um, I just used this. Spool ribbon, it's called, um, by O'Fray, and I chose white, and I did like a silky ribbon, but I could have done it with the grow grain or whatever. Um, but there's one quick, easy way to make your table look a little better, or if you wanted to, you could take like a flower, because you have to take off this back somehow. Maybe we can cut that back down. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we have to clip off the back. Oops, put it this. So you just want to clip, clip off the stem as much as possible. And then stick this down on the glue. And just kind of hold it there for a moment. Flatten against it. There is how you do that. Okay, that's better. So if you wanted to do a poinsettia, you could do a poinsettia. So there you have it. Let's say this is my napkin. Pretend the edges are not frayed. You'd have your napkin ring with a little pretty decoration. So like that. Or we could do a snowflake. Take all these other ones off. So that you could have options. And if that way if you're having multiple different small groups or whatever, you could just change it up for the group that you've got to make it more fun for you. So you don't have to see the same napkin ring all the time. I personally like that with this particular napkin. <laughs> I don't know what part got recorded, what part didn't, but all I did was took a hula hoop and two strands of the garland from the dollar store. I just wrapped it around. I recommend doing this while you're listening to Christmas music or watching a Christmas movie and just keep running around with it. I'm going to add on some green pieces that are from Dollar Tree Tree last year. So, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these little pieces of garland and I'm just going to kind of wrap them around and give them a twist so they kind of hang out randomly throughout to give it more of a real uh, wreath wrap feel. So we're look at that one. And also to kind of cover some of those bare spots that, well, I didn't do, you know, well, I did them, I didn't do them quite as well as I had hoped. Just, you may not notice much of a difference on this. Just 
just to kind of make it feel a little more like a wreath. Every few inches, wrapping, twisting, wrapping, twisting. That one's too short. You can also get those garland ties that they have at the dollar store, a pack of them. Probably get one or two packs of them and go around. And if you don't want to do this, you don't have to do this part. Kind of, in a way, it makes it kind of feel a little more full. And you just kind of want to work this up. So this took two of the garland and a few strands. And then I'm going to take, and I'm going to, um, I got one I'm going to cut off here because I used it for another craft. I'm going to take a little strand of uh, one pick that I have. And I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm going to put them on together. And just a second, I'll show you that. Okay. So I'm just going to cut off this uh, tag off this pick. Okay. Then I'm going to take my ribbon that I chose. And I'm going to put this at the bottom of my wreath. So I'm going to put this kind of going. I think I'm going to take two picks. I'm going to do those two. Okay, we're good. So I picked two different ones that I had. And I'm just going to take off their tags. And then I'm going to take their rims or their thing and just kind of tuck it into the um, garland. Just kind of crisscrossing them. And then what I am going to do is as soon as I can get this cut off, okay, so I'm just crisscrossing them into the wreath, just shoving them into the garland as best I can on either side. Sorry guys, this is hard to do at the bottom oh, without a little bit of assistance. So I'm going to go up the side here. I'm going to make it go up the side, but it's going to be at the bottom when we get done. So we're just going to find a hole in the garland, just enough to kind of push this through. And then we're going to work our way up the garland ring, finding another source to put it under. Or you could easily just take a couple of the garlands that you were using to tie around and just tie them around. If you take the gar garland ties that you were using to go around, you could just crisscross these just right here toward the middle. Oops, forget about the signs sticking out. Okay, and then there we go. So it looks something like that just a couple garland ties. Now I'm going to take my bow and I'm going to go right in the middle of these two. So we got something that looks kind of like that right now. And then I'm going to hang a sign down from the middle and I think we decided to go with peace on earth. And I don't know if I want to paint it or if I want to leave it plain. But I'm going to get a some wire and hang that um, from right there, or a couple. Of I might see if I can get a couple of these garlands to go through. And twist it on like that. Just twisting it on like this, and then there we go. Now just swung back and hit me in the nose. And there we have that. So another thing I'm going to do, I do see one more thing I want to do. I'm going to take some of my poinsettias and I'm going to cut just a little bit of stem and I'm going to go around and put a few on this. 
Okay, so there's the wreath after I added the poinsettias and the bow. I fixed it up a little bit more and the sign. I think it looks swell. I'm going to have help Joyce hang that tomorrow before I have to head back to the North Pole. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed these two crafts, mine and Mrs. Claus's. And um, if you do cre recreate these and you want to share them with us, join us on Instagram and share those with a, share pictures of them with me there. Um, I hope you all have a good day, and I hope it's as beautiful and wonderful as you are, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.